At the end of the war, I left Philadelphia to teach. I returned to the South to a school uh, run by the Freedmen's Bureau. And um, then I taught at a missionary school. The missionaries set up many schools in the South to educate the freed slaves. My salary was $15 a month. It was during this time that I met Martin Delaney, um, an agent of the Freedmen's Freeman, Bureau. I had bought a first class ticket on a steamer to travel from Charleston to the Sea Islands. When you have a first class ticket, that means you can get a, the, one of the best seats and have a very good view of everything. The captain came up to me and said that I couldn't use my first class ticket, that I had, he suggested that I go to the bottom of the boat. At this time, because it was the reconstruction period, there were laws against um, discrimination. If you went anywhere on public transportation, you were supposed to be able to sit anywhere you wanted to. So the, the captain who, made, who wanted me to go to the bottom of the boat, um, I sued him. And I won the suit, uh, thanks to the help of Martin Delaney. <clears throat> that was one of the earliest civil rights cases in the country. The captain was fined $250. After the trial, I told Major Delaney um, of my desire to become a writer. And he read some of my work. I always had my diaries with me and uh, some of the essays that I had written and stories. And he decided that I would be the perfect person to write his biography. So my book, The Life and Public Services of Martin R. Delaney, became the first full-length biography written by an African American. I moved to Boston to find a publisher for my book and to finish the book. And while I was there, I wrote in my diary about meetings that I had with famous um, abolitionists and important writers of the Civil War. I also attended a lecture um, by Charles Dickens where he read A Christmas Carol, a story that he had written. Once the war ended, I had a difficult time obtaining payment from Ma uh, Major Delaney, and I had to take other jobs to make a living. My book was published by Lee and Shepard, a Boston publisher, under the pen name of Frank A. Delaney. It was considered that a book wouldn't sell if it was written by a woman, so I used the, the name Frank. Um, I then returned to, to the South, uh, where I was hired by a black attorney, William J. Whipper, who had recently been elected to the South Carolina legislature. We began to see each other socially. Despite family objections, my family didn't really like Mr. Whipper because he was dark and that they held that against him. Um, but I overcame their objections and I married Mr. Whipper a short time later. Um, the marriage, unfortunately, was not a happy one and after 12 years, um, I left Mr. Whipper and um, moved to Washington, D.C., where I lived with my three children. One of my jobs there was working in the office of Frederick Douglass. I see you have a picture of Frederick Douglass there. Um, my three children were successful. Winifred became a teacher. Ionia attended medical school. And my son, Lee, was an actor. And so my greatest contributions were as a writer and a proponent of civil rights and feminine rights.